Alright, so we're going to talk about the Emmy arc. Yes. Okay. You have your VOR one yes. to right approach. Yes. We're going to reach. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about DME arc. Why do we join an arc? Uh, to to approach, to intercept with the final approach. Okay, so DME arc lines us up with our final approach course. Yes. Okay. Also, you might choose to do a DME arc. Maybe you're coming from here, but you want your high, so you want to lose some altitude, right? So you can always join the arc. So it will take you around. Yeah. Okay. That's why you're doing an arc. What is an arc? Uh, standard uh, turning array. A T. What is that? Uh, what shape? The, the, the arc. This shape, what shape? Uh, rectangle. It's a, well, it's a square, right? Yeah, square. How many sides? Uh, four. Four sides, okay. Do you know what shape that is? Uh, six. Uh, uh, okay, a hexagon. Six yeah, hexagon. Hexagon. What about this one? This is an octagon. octagon. How many sides? Uh, eight. Now you can see, gradually, it's forming a circle, right? Yeah. So what is a circle? A circle, basically, is many straight lines yeah. joined together. You keep changing handy. Yes. So that's what a circle is. A circle is many straight lines. When you fly an arc, you're not really flying a circle. Instead, you're flying straight lines. Hmm. All right? You understand that? Yes. Okay. So how do you know what heading to fly? Uh, your uh, 20 degrees divided. Uh... Okay, here's how you know what heading to fly, okay? Yeah. From the VOR, let's go to the VOR a bit more up here. Okay, from the VOR, the VOR has radials, right? Yes. It has different radials. You notice that the radials, they can cut at a right angle. Yeah. to what heading you want to fly. Yes. So if you figure out what radial you're on, you can fly 90 degrees from that heading. Yes. You understand that? Yeah. So let's say that's radial, let's say radial 240. What heading would you be flying here? Uh, 150. You would be flying, well, if you go in this direction, uh, okay. 240 uh, yeah. plus no, 90 degrees. Is, 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 is. So here you're actually flying a heading of 230, right? Yes, that's your aircraft. Now it's very easy to figure out what heading. Because if you look at your CDI over here, okay, with the CDI centered, you have these dots on the right and on the left. Yeah. So this is your VR indicator. You have This is your CDI, okay? Mm. With the CDI centered, let's say the CDI is centered, you just have to look at the dots. And they can tell you what heading to fly. Yeah. Okay? So if that's your radial, you would either be flying this heading or you'd be flying this heading. Mm. You understand that? Okay. So, yeah. As you keep going around the arc, your radial changes. Yeah. So you have to keep changing your heading. Mm. So you have to keep recentering the needle. Mm. Check the heading. It's called twist 10, turn 10. So you're flying this heading, and you reach here, you twist, twist the CDI, 10. twist 10, till the CDI, the CDI will be like this. Okay. You will have it with a two indication. Mm. Okay. The needle is centered. Let's say the needle is centered, 
and you are arcing to this way. So this is your aircraft over here. Yeah. So you'll be flying this heading, all right? As you go around the arc, the radar changes. So the needle is going to be coming down, all right? Yeah, you twist it, fly. You twist the needle. 10 so degrees. 10 degrees, so it's touching the first dot. Mm. And then it will change, so then you turn 10, okay? Mm. The needle comes down again, comes center, twist it back up, Turn 10. So you twist 10, turn 10. Mm. You understand? Yep. Okay. So that's how you are going to be flying the arc. Yeah. Alright. It's important. This is your inbound. Maybe 118. Okay. So as you twist and turn, twist and turn, eventually you will be twisting to one minute, one right? Yeah. That is your last twist, the then last you... twist past the final. And then, yes, when you see the needle starting to center, you will turn intercept. inbound yeah. to intercept your final, okay? Yes. All right, so that is how we fly the arc. Let's talk about joining the arc. To join the arc, you have to know where you are. Mm. Because here, you know, when, when we had this, the needle was centered, right? The needle is centered, you have dots to the left and dots to the right. So how do you know? Do I turn left? Do I turn right? You have to know where you're coming from. Are you coming from inside the arc or from outside the arc? Yeah. And where your airplane is. Let's say that the airplane is heading 030, okay? Mm. And you are, let's say you're 10 BME, 10 BME, and this, by the way, is a 7 BME arc, okay? Yeah. 7 BME arc. So are we inside or outside the arc? Uh, outside. We are outside the arc, and we are heading 030. That yeah. means our aircraft must be flying this way. Yes. Right? So that means... We must be somewhere over here. Yeah. Okay. When we join the arc, we are going to turn yeah. to the left. All right. Now, what I suggest is that when you are one nautical mile away, when you're one nautical mile away, so you're joining a seven BME arc, you're coming from outside. One nautical mile will be eight BME. Okay. Yeah. One nautical mile away. Center the CDI. Why do you center the CDI? You want to center the CDI so you can look at your dots, see what heading you have to turn to. Hmm. Right? Always center the CDI with a two indication. Centered, it has a two indication. Okay, you centered, you want to turn left, so left. therefore you will left see heading, right? You will see what those dots point to, and you will turn to that heading. All right, yeah. when do you start to turn for our aircraft? Our speed is usually about 90 knots, 95 knots. All right, mm. if we have to turn 90 degrees, that's about 0 0.5 is the radius. All right, so that's how much we need to turn 90 degrees. So when you're 7.5 now, you will start this turn. So 0 0.5 left till you turn. Yes, 0 0.5, start the turn. To your whatever the dots on the left says. Okay? 
Now, I said one DME, as you get more proficient, you can even wait till you're maybe 7.6 to center the needle. Then you can quickly look at the dots, 7.5, start training. Mm. Okay? Yeah. All right. What if our heading was, let's say the heading is 220 and our DME is 4 nautical miles. Are we coming from inside or from outside? Inside. So we're coming from inside. Yeah. And it's heading 230. So yeah. our aircraft must be flying here. Yeah. This way. Okay. So once again, one nautical mile away, which is six DME. Yeah. And six point five turn turn right. Six DME will center the needle. Center the needle. Look turn. at the dots. Six point five. Turn we'll right. Turn right to join our arc okay? okay you join the arc twist 10 turn 10 twist 10 turn 10 until you reach your final twist of 118 needle starts coming in on 118 start turning inbound uh, what's the first uh, uh, DMD man value you know if you turn mm -hmm. so you you after you finish you turn mm -hmm. turn the head in then you center the needle the needle will the needle will, will be the be course. Yes. The the course, right? Yes. Will be the course. And then you teach you to next ten degrees. Yes. And uh, fly that head in. To next ten. Yes. 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 I mean the first one is you have to manually center, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Manually center. Then look at the dots. Okay. The dots will tell you yeah. what heading to turn to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's it.